One of the one of the best days of my life. Actually, it was a terrible day. It was one of the worst days of my life. Now that I think about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> That's quite the reversal. Yeah. What day? What well, day? I'm, is I'm this? One or the other. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I was like 18. I was working at a gas station, and the job sucked. I hated it. Of course. It. Mm-hmm. My girlfriend at the time showed up, and she had a bunch of like booze in the car. Mm. And I was supposed to be working from like 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., and it was like 11. And she was like, "Let's just go get trashed." <laughs> and uh, I was like. All right. Yeah. And I went into the station and I told the African guy, I was like, I'm leaving. I'm not working anymore. Um, I'm going to go get drunk. <laughs> and that was one of the worst days of your life? Yeah. Well, then, yeah. Then we got drunk and fought for two years. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, now, here's what's No, all right. Let's just m- you move right <laughs> we along. We are moving on, but I'm, I'm talking about theoretically. Theoretically. Uh-huh. Is saying the N-word, you don't want that on record. But... Just the acknowledgement that you have said the N word at some time in the past, everyone would cop to that. Correct. Almost everyone would say yes. Of course, uh-huh. on stage. Of course, uh-huh. uh, with the exception of women, I don't think. White no, women, I don't think women would. Women don't. I date. I was dating a girl, and she was like, you know, I was like, come on, you said the N word, and she's like, no, I've never said the N word once in my life. And I thought about it. I'm like, damn, that's probably true. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whereas right. for me, it's something as simple as pissing standing up. Of mm-hmm. course, I mean, you know, or it, getting your dick hard. Right. When I it's kind of got used by one. That's why I re- re- was resentful of Adam's attempt to set me up with an autistic girl. True. Yeah, we have to separate those fucking, genes. I'm not a dog to be bred. Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. It that would be awesome though. Imagine how good it. your friends would, your children would be at Legos, dude. I had a yeah. meal. How I, quickly they would fucking. I had a, stack them by I color. I had sushi. With Nick and Dasha's autistic friend. Mm -hmm. And I think a couple months ago, we were like, oh, Nick, you should meet this girl. Like, you guys are really like each other. And they were just sitting there dead eyed, like, "Uh, I I like tools. I like tools too. (laughs) (laughs) What kind of tools do you like? I have palm sander, I have router. I have. I mean, I'll tell you, it is nice to just lock eyes with another person and no just blinking. shut off. Yeah. yeah, just go. Just uh huh. Finish what you're saying, and then immediately you both look at your phones for ten minutes. No, no phones. It's like no you can phones. Just, really no phones. Really, and the, yeah, it was just like we got our two retard friends together. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah we could vibe. We had like <laughs> no Nick afterwards was like, yeah, that was fun. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you, say things, you say things to her. You explain. You explain an emotion, and then she goes. I can relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you I had like I had like a relationship pretty much be destroyed by doing the parody song fuck with Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the car. You were on a road trip earlier, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Because yeah. she got stuck in the car with me doing the like, well, I'm the kind of guy who fucks his mom and dad. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I told the story about in being in a car and like doing you know parody songs or whatever on a mm-hmm. drive and how that like I ruined a relationship doing that. Yes, yeah. yes. And I always like you know I tell people that story and it's like you know obviously you take it with a grain of salt. It's right, like right. you know there was other contributing factors. To yeah, the it wasn't just the song. It couldn't just be the song saying. And then I saw that girl recently, uh-huh. and we hadn't spoken. I mean, we've yeah. spoken here and there, but mm-hmm. uh, she was like, "Yeah, you know, like things between us were always like." Good, except for that, you know, that big fight we had. Nah, when you were doing, yeah, and I was like, <laughs> no way. And I was like, really? That was it? And she was like, yeah. I'm like, that's great. I've been telling, that's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> I've been telling the story, feeling like I was exaggerating that detail, but no, apparently, yeah, it was. It was the songs. She was like, I just couldn't, I couldn't imagine myself being with somebody that thought like saying things like that ironically was like funny, and acceptable. <laughs> Well, guess what, bitch? It yeah. is. <laughs> Not only is it acceptable, I'm a fucking millionaire. <laughs> I'm going to buy your house out from under you and kick you out on the yes, fucking street. Yes, How's that for yes. irony? That it would be, it's a, that would be Drag ironic, her. dude. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we're on good terms. She's fine. Cool. Well, but yeah. just do it anyway cause for the bit. Right, exactly. I'll replace her house with a... With the with the fucking oh, the world's largest MP3 player that plays my own Bruce Springsteen parody songs <laughs> about wanting to n- tell your dad to come outside. I want to fuck his ass. <laughs> hey, little girl, is your dad at home? Until I'm gay. Yeah. Well, they sucked off the chicken man in <laughs> Philly last night. And now they <laughs> fucked his dad too. Down on the. Boardwalk, they're getting ready for 
bottom surgery. <laughs> Gonna see what those lady boys can do. <laughs> now you can't suck a penis. Retards bussing in from out of state, <laughs> and they can't pull their pants all the way down to pee. <laughs> can't suck a penis until you're gay. Do they think, hang out like after work with no, each other? No, no, no one did. There was a break room that always just smelled fucking awful. Yeah, um, yeah. There was like I remember there was one hot girl that worked there. Oh, I and her. again because it was like I yeah, was yeah. cool. I had, like had supreme confidence. I just like went up to her and was like, "Hey, yeah, we should like hang out sometime." I was like, "I was like, hey, what's your name?" She like turns around. She's like, "Hi, I'm Cassandra," and she was like just oh, hot, but no. a complete nerd. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, never mind. I'm sorry." You noticed the foxtail hanging yeah, out of her skirt. I talked to her for like ten minutes and then. Dude, come on! Ne man. Never again. <laughs> is that the girl? Is that the girl whose Oreos you ate? <laughs> the Down syndrome girl or whatever? No, not Down syndrome. What are you talking about? Uh, Aspergers. What, what are you talking about? I don't remember that. What? There was a girl, about? a girl that you said had autism. Or whatever. Oh, that was in New York when he was I dating know. that Aspergers I was making girl. A joke about. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a joke you about. You can have two or three. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking what a monster! <laughs> nice tits though. You wouldn't you wouldn't yeah. fuck a nerd that was hot, dude. Um, it would like like she smelled bad. Like she oh, had, not, she didn't smell bad, but she had that smell bad aura where it was yes. like this is just. No, I, yeah, I lost interest. Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying. I, I, I understand where you're coming from, but I, I, I don't know what particular nuance or what it was in the context of that situation. I know what you mean. That made me pull the plug on that. Because there's a vibe of, like, not just nerd, but, like, just uncool in, like, a high school way. Like That I like, can... That I'm fine with. It's It was just... There was something, like, you know, from 20 feet away, it was like, yeah, she's, like, pretty... And you're like, oh, never mind. It's like the Ren and Stimpy close-ups. Yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah. Sort of like that. Go on a die, you fat bitch! You know, I've always had a very acute sense of the finitude of existence. Um, you're Chinese.